Hi everyone, welcome back to Decoding Studio. And today we are going to discuss about some React JS and React Native interview questions. Though I have created a couple of videos on uh, React Native interview questions before, but uh, in this video we are going to discuss examples as well. So before moving forward, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and let's get started. So our first question is, what is should component update method? I used to ask this question during interviews and 95% candidate are not able to answer this question. So this is very simple and uh, we'll try to uh, see what is should component update method. So before moving to that, so I'll, I'll uh, show you, I have created something. Um, so basically we have a main component is a parent component and it has a two states, count name we have a two buttons increment count and chain name so chain name uh, change the name so default name is dinesh rajput and it will add one r because name is here so it will add one r whenever i'll hit this chain name and same with the increase count so the default count is zero so when i'll press in this increase count then it will make it uh, increase one count so now i have one more component name as text component so this is a child component so i have created a child component here and it shows the count coming from the props so the props we have passed is a count here it's a state count if you have to pass data from one component to next component or child component then we use props uh, this count is props to next text component and this count is state of uh, this main component so we have passed this count as a props to this text component so and we are showing displaying that count is here this text component is this one okay so whenever i'll hit this it will increase by one and when i will hit this then it will add one r to my name so now we will try to understand the need of should component update method so this is initial rendering and parent component is rendering and child component is rendering so you can see this i have added a console.log here and uh, one console.log here so now you will see that uh, when i'll hit this increase count again both parents re-render parent and child because we have passed count to uh, child component and child component change when i will hit this increase count again i'm pressing increase count so it's changing and now we are pressing chain name you can see both child and parent component is re-rendering because this child component is inside parent component and every time when parent component component will re-render then this child component will automatically re-render but you can see we have only count props here and uh, when name is changed we don't need to re-render this but here you can see when i'm changing the name so both this parent component and this child component is re-render so we want to restrict this we don't want this extra re-rendering in it so that's why inside component lifecycle method react has provided us a method should component update method to restrict it how let's see so you have to do inside text component you just need to add should component update method this component has two parameter next props and next state but here we are not going to use next state we are going to use next props because we don't have any state here and uh, inside that you need to add a condition for example next props dot count not equals to this dot props dot count and we need to return if not equals to then true otherwise okay so whenever we will return true then it will re-render and uh, if we return false then our uh, this function component will not re-render and we have added like new next props count is not equals to means count is, count has changed so we will return true and it will re-render otherwise it will not so let's test it now 
So as you can see, initially it's rendered both of them and uh, when I'm changing the count, so count is changing, so it will return true. And uh, now I'm going to hit this chain name. So what will happen? Count is not changed, so it's return false. As a result, our child component is not re-render. So it's avoiding extra re-rendering. So this is the one benefit. So because uh, like we don't want to re-render it again and again. Now, second question will be what is pure component? And sometimes some developers know what is should component update method does, but they don't know what pure component update method does. So pure component handles should component update method internally for us we don't need to write this line of code so let me remove this and uh, first of all you just need to import pure component from here and then just change component to the pure component and that's it now we don't have any should component update method so let's see increase count so both the components are re-rendering but when i'm going to hit this chain name again you can see the child component is not re-rendering when the Props is not changed. So let's make it component. Now let's see what will happen. Both the components are re-rendering. There is unnecessary re-rendering re happening. But when I'm going to change it to the pure component, it will not. This is the advantage of using pure component. So, so that's that. So as you can see, I have used a class component here. But what will happen like now in the era of uh, React hooks using a functional component. Now, if you want to make a functional component, pure component, then how you can do that? So this is our third question. So let's see how we can do that. So I've created a one more uh, function component with the same functionality that takes count as a props and display it here. So now what we need to do instead of uh, text component, we need to import text function here. And now I'm just going to replace it here. This is our functional component now. So again, when I'm going to hit this, as you can see, it's rendering like both parent uh, component is rendering and child function component is re-rendering. So this uh, console I have added here, child function comp component is re-rendering. Now I'm going to hit this chain name. What will happen? Both components are re-rendering and we don't need re-rendering when the name is changed again so how we can uh, you know make a function component as a pure component so let's see how we can do that so for that you just need to import memo from react or you can say react.memo as well so you just need to wrap your uh, functional component inside the memo and that's it let's refresh it and when i'm going to hit so both components are re-render when i'm going to change the name it's not re-render as you can see so this is behaving like a pure component now so this is how we can uh, change or we can now uh, you know make a function component a pure component and in most of the you know most of the developers doesn't know how we can do that but uh, this is the way you can do that you shouldn't use uh, pure component everywhere because it's adding an extra lifecycle method in in your component only use where you ha where you need to prevent extra uh, re-rendering okay so this is all about uh, this video you have learned like what is a pure component what is should component update method does and how we can make a function component as a pure component if you have any question then you can uh, ask in the comment section and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel